All right, lesson 30, algebraic phrases and decimal parts of a number. So we're going to see if we can write down what the English means in math, okay? So it says the sum of a number and seven. Raise your hand if you know or have a guess as to what to put down. Jeremiah. Great job. N plus seven. Where'd my pen go? There it is. Okay, so sum is adding two things together. For a number, use N, all right? All right, seven less than a number. Liv, what do you think? Great job. So be careful that you do the seven after the number. So this less than, it doesn't go in order of the English. Less than always goes after, okay? Seven less than a number is N minus seven. Don't get that one mixed up, okay? Do it after the variable. The opposite of a number decreased by five, Ryan. Great job. Okay, so you need to know that opposite means negative, okay? The opposite of a number. Decreased is minus, okay, by five. The sum of the opposite of a number and negative five. Somebody who has not participated yet want to give me a guess, Cade? Um, yes. Yes. So you can do it either way. Like plus a negative 5 is the same thing as negative n minus 5. Okay? So you're adding a negative. The sum of the opposite of a number and negative 5. Okay? All right. The product of twice a number and... Eight. Someone who hasn't participated want to give me a guess, Kara? Uh, Close. What does product mean, everyone? Yeah, so it's kind of weird, but product means multiply. So the product of twice a number and eight, we're actually multiplying those together. Okay. All right. The sum of twice a number and negative five. Um, Knox. Oh, Good job. 2n minus 5. All right. So twice a number. Whoops. That was helpful. All right. Five times the sum of twice a number and negative 5. Eli. Great job. Okay. Five times the sum. When they do this, you guys, five times the sum, you need parentheses. Okay. So I'm multiplying this thing times the sum, the entire sum of twice a number and negative five. Okay. And you can just put, instead of plus some negative, just put a minus five right there. Okay. All right. Six times. The sum of twice the opposite of a number and negative 8. Six times the sum of twice the opposite of a number and negative 8. Nolan? <laughs> Let's try Has anyone else want to try that has not participated yet? All right, Sammy. This is good. The only thing I would do different is I would write this as negative 2n minus 8. So I have 6 times, and then as soon as you see times the sum, you need parentheses around the whole sum, okay? And then this one's the opposite, twice the opposite. So the negative can go in front right here, twice the opposite, okay? Um, and negative 8. All right. Wow, we still have a lot of these. All right, I'm running out of spaces. <laughs> Species. All right. The product of 7 and the sum of a number and 10. The product of 7 and the sum of a number and 10. What do you think, Myla? Um, yes. Okay. So we're multiplying, product is multiply 7 and the sum. So 7 times the sum of that. All right. All right, the sum of 
3 times a number in negative 4 multiplied by 5. All right, Eleanor? Yes, and we would probably put the 5 in front, although if you put it in the back, it's like not wrong, okay? So that whole thing multiplied by 5. All right, I think we're on the last one. The sum of negative 10 and 6 times the opposite of a number. Anyone who has not participated want to try it? Sonia? I don't want to help help her out. All right, Liv, what do you think? Okay, you don't have to do the parentheses. So just the sum of this and this, you could just do that. Okay, sum of since it's negative. Okay, decimal parts of a number. Point one six of what number is ten point two four? So this is like what we were doing the other day. It's exactly in order of the English. Okay, so we're gonna rewrite point one six. And then everybody, what does of mean? Good, times. And then everyone, what do we put for what number? N. And everyone, what do we put for is? Equals. And then we get 10.24. And then we divide, yes. To change the uh, decimals, yes, you could. All right, so I'm doing 10, I'm going to move the decimal two spots over when I do my division on that, okay? 16 goes into 102. Anybody know? I don't know. Six times? 36, okay, 96, great. All right, so I'm going to go six times, subtract it, that would be six, bring down the 64. 16 goes into 64, how many times? Four. And we get 64 because my decimal moved over two spots, okay? All right, what decimal part of 80 is 60? So for what decimal, we will put D, okay? These go in order, just like before. Of means what? Okay, and then we write 80. Is means what? Okay, great. And then we divide to solve for D right here. And this one's nice because 6 over 8 is 3 fourths, which is 0.75. It does say what decimal, so make it a decimal, okay? All right, and then I've got 0.48 of, means multiply, 8 is what number? And we would multiply those out to get your answer, okay? Everybody good? Okay, let's try these and see how it goes. <laughs> 